Zinrelef is the first and only extended-release dual-acting local anesthetic. Its synergistic formulation combines bupivacaine with a low dose of the anti-inflammatory meloxicam in a proprietary polymer to produce significantly greater analgesia than either agent alone. The natural inflammatory process caused by tissue injury during surgery can limit the efficacy of local anesthetics. As the inflammatory process unfolds, the wound site becomes increasingly acidic, which results from the increased concentration of hydrogen ions. This causes more bupivacaine to become ionized, trapping it outside the nerve cell and preventing it from blocking the voltage-gated sodium ion channels and stopping pain. Inflammation reaches its peak around 24 hours following surgery, but remains high through the first 72 hours and is one important reason why most local anesthetics, including other longer-acting formulations, inconsistently provide pain relief beyond 12 to 24 hours. By mitigating the effects of inflammation, the low dose of meloxicam in Zinrelef is thought to normalize the acidity at the surgical site, lowering the concentration of hydrogen ions in the environment. This allows more bupivacaine molecules to remain unionized outside of the cell, free to penetrate the cell membrane and bind to the voltage-gated sodium ion channel, preventing the influx of sodium ions and thereby interrupting neuronal propagation. Together, bupivacaine and meloxicam work synergistically and are thought to overcome the consequences of the local inflammatory process, normalizing the pH at the surgical site and potentiating the analgesic effect of bupivacaine for up to 72 hours. With needle-free installation directly into the surgical site, Zinrelef is delivered in a proprietary extended-release biochronomer polymer that provides controlled diffusion of the active ingredients at the surgical site to deliver post-operative pain relief for up to 72 hours. Once released by the biochronomer polymer, the low dose of meloxicam is thought to overcome the challenges of inflammation, reducing the concentration of hydrogen ions and normalizing the pH at the wound site without impeding the natural healing process. Zinrelef was created to serve as a foundation for post-operative pain management as the first and only extended-release dual-acting local anesthetic. It was designed to overcome the challenges associated with the inflammatory process and provide patients with up to 72 hours of pain relief while reducing or eliminating the need for opioids in many patients following surgery. Indication Zinrelief is indicated in adults for installation to produce post-surgical analgesia for up to 72 hours after soft tissue and orthopedic procedures, including foot and ankle, and other procedures in which direct exposure to articular cartilage is avoided. Limitations of use. Safety and efficacy have not been established in highly vascular surgeries, such as intrathoracic, large four or more level spinal, and head and neck procedures. Important safety information. Warning, risk of serious cardiovascular and gastrointestinal events. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, cause an increased risk of serious cardiovascular thrombotic events, including myocardial infarction and stroke, which can be fatal. This risk may occur early in treatment and may increase with duration of use. Zinrelief is contraindicated in the setting of coronary artery bypass graft cabbage surgery. NSAIDs cause an increased risk of serious gastrointestinal GI adverse events including bleeding, ulceration, and perforation of the stomach or intestines, which can be fatal. These events can occur at any time during use and without warning symptoms. Elderly patients and patients with a prior history of peptic ulcer disease and or GI bleeding are at greater risk for serious GI events. Contraindications Zinrelief is contraindicated in patients with a known hypersensitivity, example, anaphylactic reactions and serious skin reactions to any amide local anesthetic, NSAIDs, or other components of Zinrelief, with history of asthma, urticaria, or other allergic type reactions after taking aspirin or other NSAIDs. Severe, sometimes fatal, anaphylactic reactions to NSAIDs have been reported in such patients. Undergoing obstetrical paracervical block anesthesia or undergoing cabbage. Warnings and precautions. Dose-related toxicity. Monitor cardiovascular and respiratory vital signs in patient's state of consciousness after application of Zinrelief. 
When using Zen Relief with other local anesthetics, overall local anesthetic exposure must be considered through 72 hours. Hepatotoxicity. If abnormal liver tests persist or worsen, perform a clinical evaluation of the patient. Hypertension. Patients taking some antihypertensive medication may have impaired response to these therapies when taking NSAIDs. Monitor blood pressure. Heart failure and edema. Avoid use of Zinrelief in patients with severe heart failure unless benefits are expected to outweigh risk of worsening heart failure. Renal toxicity. Monitor renal function in patients with renal or hepatic impairment, heart failure, dehydration, or hypovolemia. Avoid use of Zinrelief in patients with advanced renal disease unless benefits are expected to outweigh risk of worsening renal failure. Anaphylactic reactions. Seek emergency help if an anaphylactic reaction occurs. Risk of joint cartilage necrosis and degeneration with unapproved intraarticular use. Animal studies evaluating the effects of Zinrelief following intraarticular administration in the knee joint demonstrated cartilage necrosis and degeneration. Chondrolysis. Limit exposure to articular cartilage due to the potential risk of chondrolysis. Methemoglobinemia. Cases have been reported with local anesthetic use. Serious skin reactions. NSAIDs, including meloxicam, can cause serious skin adverse reactions. NSAIDs can also cause fixed drug eruption, FDE. FDE may present as a more severe variant known as generalized bullous fixed drug eruption, GBFDE, which can be life-threatening. If symptoms present, evaluate clinically. Drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms, dress. If symptoms are present, evaluate clinically. Fetal toxicity. Due to the risk of oligohydramnios, fetal renal dysfunction, and premature closure of the ductus arteriosus with NSAIDs, limit use of Zinrelief between about 20 to 30 weeks gestation and avoid use after about 30 weeks. Hematologic toxicity. Monitor hemoglobin and hematocrit in patients with any signs or symptoms of anemia. Drug interactions. Drugs that interfere with hemostasis. Monitor patients for bleeding who are using Zinrelief with drugs that interfere with hemostasis. Example, warfarin, aspirin, SSRIs, SNRIs. ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs, or beta blockers. Use with Zinrelief may diminish the antihypertensive effect of these drugs. Monitor blood pressure. ACE inhibitors and ARBs. Use with Zinrelief in elderly, volume depleted, or those with renal impairment may result in deterioration of renal function. In such high-risk patients, monitor for signs of worsening renal function. Diuretics. NSAIDs can reduce natriuretic effect of furosemide and thiazide diuretics. Monitor patients to assure diuretic efficacy, including antihypertensive effects. Use in specific populations. Infertility. NSAIDs are associated with reversible infertility. Consider avoidance of Zinrelief in women who have difficulties conceiving. Severe hepatic impairment. Only use if benefits are expected to outweigh risk. Monitor for signs of worsening liver function. Severe renal impairment. Not recommended. Adverse reactions. Most common adverse reactions, incidence greater or equal to 5% in controlled clinical trials with Zinrelief are soft tissue procedures, vomiting, and the orthopedic procedures, constipation, and headache. Report side effects to Heron at 1-844-437-6611 or to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or www.fda.gov forward slash medwatch. Please see full prescribing information, including box warning and updated warnings and precautions for serious skin reactions caused by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs.